Here we go. Two, All right, one, is it recording already? Go. Yeah. We are so, Paul, um, Leonard. Paul Leonard. Hi, Bryce. Hi, Bryce. 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 And this is 20, 20 minutes, minutes, minutes of fitness. Of fitness. So, uh, yeah, missed last week. Sorry, it was a little busy for me. I was in Maui most of the week, which was oh, quite nice. nice, actually. I'm sure. Um, a, a highlight of last week, I took Bo and Brock to Black Point in uh, Maui. That's like the big rock that you can jump off of. Oh, cliff. yes, yes, yes. I've been there. And we went over there, and Brock's like, not a chance. My eight-year-old? Yeah. Five-year-old's like, yeah, let's go. I'm like, oh, we should probably swim around. It looks easier. Bo's like, nope. Just starts climbing up the cliff. I'm like, oh, all right, sweet. let's do it. So we climb all the way over there. He gets right to the top. I'm like... All right, buddy, you nervous? Like, you ready for this? Yeah, daddy, let's go. Awesome. Like, zero hesitation, jumps off a 25 foot cliff. That's 25? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm impressed. Not bad for five, man. Oh, that's awesome. With Shit. no, and then we swim all the way back to the beach. He's like, why did we come back? Let's go do it again. <laughs> all right, bud, let's do it. Oh, he could swim that good, huh? Oh, yeah, he's a good swimmer. Oh, that's too. awesome. Yeah. So, that was fun. That's Very pretty fun good. Because uh, I've been there with adults that stood there for an hour before they walked back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, cool. on the note of things that I missed while I was gone, though, I missed the whole quarterfinals. quarterfinals. Yes. So you saw the workouts, yeah? What did you think of the workouts? I love the workouts. Yeah. I think it's Same. a fantastic test of very challenging workouts. Yeah. Like, even the pros, you look at their Facebooks and their Instagrams and whatever, like, they're getting crushed because yeah. it's written in a way, if you're good, you hit big numbers. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that total is awesome. I love oh, that. Oh, yeah. The other total, yeah. That's The cool. other total, there you go. I wish we were going to have that, but we're not. Like, for the Masters. And I don't know who the beat, who won it or anything. I haven't looked at the results of it, but um, that one Brazilian dude hit a Gee, 407 clean. clean. Yeah, he, and then he's his up bench there. was 317. I think. Yeah, it's pretty funny to see how bad these guys bench. Yeah, That's considering, better. hey. Yeah. They're hitting a 407 clean, and then they can barely bench 315, which yeah. like and 370 overhead squat, and they're benching 315. Like most of them are on the the the, the pros. I'm sure somebody's got a. Oh, up yeah. a four or five hundred pound bench, but everybody else is like three fifteen, three twenty five, and like PRing Which is still a respectable number. Don't oh. get me wrong. It's okay. I mean, three fifteen is still good. What's your bench? Three three fifteen. But yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's still not a terrible bench. But if you but look at yeah, compared to the clean and yeah. the overhead squat, like a three seventy overhead squat's impressive Insane. as shit. Yeah. Well, they Th say it takes some amazing flexibility. Your those three lifts should be almost the same. Uh, if you're yeah. if you're equally. E equally skilled and strength, right? And clearly, we just don't do bench press and CrossFit because, yeah, shit. I came into CrossFit at a, like a 300 pound bench, and I have about the same three th at lifetime 305, 310, and you know, yeah. And I did 275 for two two months ago, like that's without doing bench. And and how are your pecs? Huge, not huge, not blown. Sorry, huge. Ben. Aww. Oh shit. Okay, so uh, but yeah, that was a cool one. Absolutely. I like the muscle up one. That was yeah. a great workout too. Interesting how hard the muscle ups got for people yeah. after those GHDs, which I would never really equate the two, but it makes sense. You're crushing your core, and then you're trying yeah. to do pull everything up and do it fast because you only had 15 minutes to do that whole thing. And like, yeah. I, was, I don't know if you saw the Danny Spiegel controversy because she basically didn't do a single muscle up because she, or not a single, but she half of them were bad where she didn't lock out fully. Uh, and uh, it's one of those things where they're going to be like, well, she showed capacity to do it quickly. And they gave her like a minute and 40 second penalty. But oh, really? Like, to me, it's like you, the the exact thing that was supposed to happen with that workout happened to her. Yeah. And you put up a shitty, shitty workout, but whatever. It is what it is. But uh, they gave her a hefty penalty. Um, yeah. And, you know, hopefully everybody learns from that. Uh, but that was a pretty cool one. Where Tommy did that one, she got to the second round of muscle ups and got like halfway through them, nice. and uh, she was upset because she missed like out of there's ten muscle ups. I think she got four or five of them. She missed at least six, seven times where she, it was just couldn't finish the dip because that's the that yeah. pop of your it's crushing your core. It's gone, yeah. So unless you're unless cool. you're strong enough to do it strict, you're not using the core like you usually do. Yeah, and then once she saw like the pros having such trouble actually locking out, like she's like, "Oh, I feel better now." Yeah, because it's like, okay, yeah, that makes and sense. I love that they brought sprinting into an online Fucking competition. Great. That's My cool. Favorite. Like that's such a good thing for them to put in because yep. why not? But they've just never done it before because they couldn't come up with a good way to regulate it. <sighs> it's a but great this is way good. to do it. And we've been ever since they put that handstand walk in I, with the or or the lunges. Yeah, I was like, we've oh, with distance. We could have shuttle sprints. Death yeah. by ten meters is a great workout. Oh and, yeah. Uh, Brutal. It was great. It was a, and it was a lot more running than people thought because yeah. everybody read it as like the the long one was 34, 34 laps. People read it as thirty four lengths. 
Yeah, yeah. And there's people that put their scores in that way that are like top of the leaderboard right now that need to be removed because um, they did half the reps. And it's, yeah. dude, that was a, that middle round was a long time of running. I mean, it was a 200 and, that's like 260 meters. Of sprint, though. In the oh, middle. All out, yeah. Well, well it's not, it's not whatever long you got. Enough. Yeah, it's all start and stop. It actually, like, brought down, if you were good at running, good at sprinting, and bad at it, it actually brought you guys down to the middle. Cause, okay. Because it's just, go back. Like, for me, it's, I think, seven steps. Okay. You're not getting any speed up. No, no. It's really, um... And, and CrossFit loves this. It's a transition wad. Yeah. How well you transition. How, how quick you flip back the other how's way. Your tur- how's your turning, your cut speed, right? Good yeah. one for like an NFL lineman yeah. or, a, or a running back, something like that, because they just boop, 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 boop. And then Pretty cool. I like that they did different progressions of handstands. I thought that was, that cool. was cool, too. I, loved, I liked all of it, yeah. Yeah. And now the way that it, it complemented or didn't the beginning of the Open, like we both didn't think the original, like the three no. workouts were very good. because. Not at all. They were just very simple yep. and very and similar. Uh, if you're light yeah. and have a good cardio, yep. you're going to do well. That's how that was basically set up. Yep. But I do like that they just said, okay, fine, we'll make this super broad and super simple. And then if you make it to the next round, good luck. if you don't know how to do CrossFit, don't bother. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people didn't. They got less than 50% of the 10%. And so that wasn't necessarily a smart move on their side. But from a competition well, standpoint, I like it because it's like, no, and, you see those workouts. You're like, holy shit, I need to be able to do CrossFit well. And I heard people complaining about that. Like, oh, the, the open was so easy. And then you made this so hard. Dude, you're, it's the semifinals. This is supposed to be hard. Yeah, I like it. It's not for the 10, the, the, the bottom 3%, 4% that squeaked or you know the bottom two percent that squeaked through no not at all they shouldn't it's, have gone through it's to figure out who the 120 fittest in north america that the the, yeah. the uh, 60 fittest in europe and vice and, and on and on like it's to find out who the one percent is because they have to go to the next stage you have to make it a heavy also you saw with that snatch workout yeah. a- again same as last year same weights yeah except this year like okay you didn't do well in the snatch workout last year maybe you got one one rep Maybe you just missed it as a, at a, at a, as a PR because it started with the snatch. This year, they're like, oh, you're going to expect that. So we're going to make it a little harder. So not only did you have to bump your, your snatch up to 185, you actually had to snap, bump it up to about 195 because now you had to do it minus whatever percent that the row and the burpees take on. Yeah, you. yeah. So you actually had to get not – you had to get better than you had to be last year to do that workout, which I like because you should always be upping the game a little bit. You should be making bit. progress if you're going to be in the competition. And that's what people need to look at. Like, how are they going to up it next year? Probably probably give you the snatch first. It probably won't be a snatch, but um, if it were, you give you a snatch first, but now you're not talking about 185. You're talking about 195. And, you know, back to the first one, I love that they're throwing benches in. I love that, that they're great throwing too. the sprinting in. Yeah. I love that they're throwing – um, Change it deficit up. for an online competition. That's new. Like, there's a lot of new, new stuff, stuff that came out, Absolutely. which is cool. awesome. I love it. No, I thought it was great. Uh, and who won? Uh, who won for the males? Uh, the the reigning champ. Oh, Maderos. Yeah. Okay, right. That's right. Yeah, and he. Uh, Belner was ten. He won pretty handily, right? Oh yeah. Big ones. Not me. nearly as much as Tia though. Tia like yeah, Tia, washed the floor with everybody. Yeah. Tia. I think she had 19 points. Did she? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, Justin still had like 100 and something points. Tia had 19 points. I think that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, the thing I like was the um, in the top 11 are the three Pancheck boys. That's kind of awesome. That's yeah. going to be fun to watch. I think I think Scott's goal is probably all three boys on the games floor at the same time. Yeah, ideally be would top be, 10 together. That'd be to cool. To me, that would be like his crowning achievement as a um, individual. When he got fourth, right? Yeah. He's, he's, that's impressive, and then, man. And then Pan, uh, Saxon's right, right one below. Yeah, I think two below, but yeah, something like no, that. No, I, I is it one, one now. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, I think he's fifth and sixth. And then um, uh, Spencer's 11th. Uh, so that's pretty cool to see. The other one, the other crazy one is um, Olivia Hostetler. Is that her last name? Kerstetter. Olivia Kerstetter. She's uh, Jacob Hepner's protege over oh, okay. there that he coaches now, and uh, or coached for a while. She's in eighth place. Okay. And her numbers are so ridiculous that everybody's talking about it. Um, she overhead squatted 270. She turned 16 in December. Wow. She's and not, she's eighth. She's eighth. Wow. That's fucking insane. That's impressive. And it's like when you put that in context to, uh, well, like Elijah Subiono, he did okay. He's in the top 400 or 700, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, he overhead squatted over 300 pounds, which is 
fucking nuts. That's, I think he that's did, impressive. I want to say he did like 311 wow. or 315. Crazy. But still not even for, close compared to... For an 18-year-old, but... Dude, it's a eighteen, a sixteen-year-old girl did two seventy. She is a fucking monster. Yeah. Like, she's to me, she should go um, individual and win the win the individual. So then she wins, because I think she won last year, right? As okay. a fifteen-year-old, if she wins wins as a sixteen-year-old, and then when she becomes an adult, wins there, she'll be the first person to win all to win all, all three. three. And then when she retires and goes to the team, she'll win there too. She could try to win everything, or the other option is go as an in, try to get the, to the games as an individual at 16. She'll be the first person to do that. Yeah, and that's so, what I think she'd do. That's what I would do if I was in her position. A lot of firsts there. What's which the is thrill crazy. of What's the thrill of winning Crushing your age category when, when you not, could be top 10 in the world? Yeah, when when it's not even a competition, right? Um, for her, for her against the other, yeah, I doubt it's a competition. Yeah, so that's kind of a crazy thing. Um, so that's gonna be fun to watch her in the semifinals. Uh, some of should be interesting. A lot of, um, you know, same people that you expect to be there or there. You know? And semifinals is going to be a, a live event, right? Yeah. So yeah. that'll be cool, too, because it's going to be more CrossFit Games-esque, which is, I think, why they made it oh, so, yeah. Yeah. so challenging of an online competition, because they want to have, like, back to having, like, swimming and shit like that in there if they can, right? Yeah. I mean, the, um, the, the quarterfinal, whatever you call it, online qualifier, whatever it's been called in the past, is always hard. Yeah, that's it's true. always heavy, and it's always that's why I'm always like, okay, get through the open because that's going to be lightweight bullshit, and it always is. Every year, it opens lightweight yeah, bullshit, just, especially this year. But yeah, and yeah, this year was just poorly planned lightweight bullshit. Um, and then the qualifiers always or quarterfinals. It's it's hard every year. Like that's where you put the weights, and that's the shit that like where you or I we get to that we excel versus the the yeah. the uh, open. Like I jump tons of places in the qualifiers because it's it's strength. It's a lot of strength, right? It's, yeah. Um, heavier and, barbells. And CrossFit. Like, it, it yeah. takes you to have good skill, Stamina. technical. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and so I'm hoping we get similar movements, similar workouts. I know they're going to change it up a little bit. We don't have a bench. We don't have a uh, wall ball. We don't have a GHD. But I'm hoping they keep all the rest of the stuff and maybe CrossFit total instead of the other total. That would be nice. And then, um, I don't know, I think uh, I'll have a decent shot at the 30. We'll see, though. There you go. It'd be fucking awesome. On that note, though, I'm already late. So uh, okay, yeah. peace out, Gotta guys. Go. Have All a right, good guys. one. Later.